Okay, shifting gears again, a follow up to last night's segment on rent assistance in Oregon, which perhaps Governor Brown saw because today we got this into our inbox. A news release headlined Governor Kate Brown announces special session to prevent winter evictions. That session is happening Monday. December 13th and in making her case for why the governor highlighted a lot of the same numbers that we talked about on this show last night, namely this one. This is the state's live online dashboard and it shows that number in blue on the left. It has doled out close to $150 million in federal rent assistance. That's out of, and this is an updated number, $298 million, which the state has on hand. Now, last week, state officials said that giant total, the nearly $150 million that you're seeing right there, they said that was a good thing, kind of a look how much money we're getting to renters vibe. But tonight, the governor has a different take. She said, quote, our federal funds for rental assistance will be nearly spent on December 1st, she said. That's tomorrow. She went on to say, I am continuing to work with federal officials at the U.S. Treasury and the White House to secure additional federal emergency rental assistance funding for Oregon. So in other words, yes, the state is doing a better job of getting that federal rent assistance to renters quickly. But so many people are applying that, frankly, Oregon is running out of money. So they want to press the feds for more. And while that plays out, because we're sure we're sure that'll take time, applications for rent assistance continue to pour in. And on top of that, a lot of the people who have already been approved for help haven't physically gotten their checks yet. There's a bit of a delay there. Some have been waiting several months, like Musanda Mwango. We met him last night, a dad of three, probably saw him last night. He lost his job at a church to COVID restrictions. He got approved for assistance in June, but he is still waiting tonight. Well, housing advocates say there are thousands of families like his stuck in limbo. So there are 10,500 Oregon families and individuals, low-income families and individuals across the state that are at Im imminent risk of eviction and displacement because we have not been able to process applications quickly enough. In addition to those 10, almost 11,000 households, there are another 17,000 households across the state who have applications pending who are getting closer to their uh, expiration dates every day. Sybil Hebb with the Oregon Law Center there. Now, when she refers to expiration dates, she's talking about a law that Oregon legislators passed earlier this year. They called it the Safe Harbor Law. It protects anyone who's applied for rent assistance from getting evicted for the next 60 days after they apply, basically while they wait for their money. Tenants advocates want that safe harbor extended beyond 60 days because a lot of this is taking so long. I also talked to advocates, though, for landlords about what they want. Uh, trying to speed up the processing time for those rent relief funds for landlords. And you really got to make sure they, they don't forget that a very large percentage of landlords um, own and manage under uh, four or less units. And the fact is, if you have a small number of properties, you have mortgages you have to pay. If you have to go upwards of 60 days, then you're probably there's a decent chance you're making a choice uh, on uh, you know what you're spending your money on. And in some cases, maybe not even being able to cover that mortgage. So the other other thing that, uh, you know, if, it, if they do have to go down that route, we can't speed this up to where landlords aren't going to end up with possible mortgage late fees or, anything, or things like that, then it wouldn't be bad to consider, you know, uh, possibly with the funding to help cover some of that stuff. And a reminder here, the state is pausing this rent assistance process for six weeks to give staff time to catch up on applications. And that pause begins tomorrow night at midnight, 1159 p.m., I'm told. So if you haven't applied for rent assistance and you need it, apply now. It's this website here at the bottom of your screen, OregonRentalAssistance.org. Again, OregonRentalAssistance.org. We also have more info at KGW.com.